guys welcome back it's Ethan A videos and we're back again with another video but before we get into this video I got something I want to tell you it's little... did you know that over 98.5 percent of the traffic on my YouTube channel is not subscribed so if can you please help me out and try to help me lower that number all we need is just four clicks click that subscribe button Navigate your mouse over to that bell button, click that, and click for notifications, and then I'd appreciate a lot if you could give it a like. Thank you. Please help me get the channel down, the non-subscribed, down from 98.5. I appreciate a lot. So, you may have read from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to modify mods that you got in off of. A website okay so it's fairly simple if you know what you're doing so first off I want to say you can modify mods that you get off the in-game mod hub so let me open up Fall Explorer okay so if you want to modify your mods that were in-game on FS19 what you would have to do is if I already have a uh, quick access but if most likely you don't so if I didn't I'd have to go into documents and then I would navigate try to find my games and then here I would go to farming simulator 19 and then there's your mods and this is the all the mods you have now if you download an in-game mod it'll show up here and then you can drag and drop it and just do the same process that I will show you with an X game mod and if you don't know what I mean by X game I mean it's downloaded out of the game and then you just put it back in here once you're done okay so we have okay so as you see we now have it downloaded hopefully it ain't as funny as the other one so yeah Hopefully it ain't. Let's drag and drop it over here. Okay. This one actually looks like you will have to unzip it. Possibility. Yes, you will have to because it is a pack apparently. Uh, probably because it says pack kind of gives it away. And it sort of uses initials as unzip me at the end. And this must be some other tractor. So we're going to work on this one first. And we can do stuff from making the price change. We can move it, like say, the category may be large tractors. We can move it to cars or miscellaneous. We can even change how many hours it can get before it starts needing maintenance. Like maybe four hours and you and it starts slowing down well we can make it so we can run this thing up to 10 engine hours and then it starts slowing down we can change the price of customizations change the brand names um we can also even change the price uh, of customization I think I already said that but we can also change the maximum RPMs lower RPMs which are mid and we can also change the speed period we could make this thing go a million miles an hour if we wanted to <laughs> my game would really lag but yeah all right so let's work on this one first okay so I kind of like to go into the mod descript um, and take a look at it just see if there's anything I notice that should not that something's a little weird there so this is 44. I was always told that it's supposed to be 43, so we're going to change it to 43. This is the offer and the version. Um, basically, it gives you some information. My description, like now, if I, I believe right here, yeah, description. If I was to type in. I love FS19 and then saved it. If I was to go into my in game mod hub, this would show up as the description of this mod. It would also say I love FS19. So, 
we're just gonna put modded. Oop. Duh oh. Okay. Um, fortunately, we can do this little thing called close down. Go back to mod the script. Um, this is the title of the tractor. So we're going to call it M. We're just going to put an M there for modded. Okay, so if we want to change this to Dodge, we just would change these out. Probably have to go into the editor file, which I'll show you in a little bit, and change that out. Okay, so we just saved the mod descript, so that's what it now says. Okay, so let me see here. Sounds, textures. Hmm. I think that's what we're looking for. Let's, oh, by the way, you will need Notepad++. You will need to get that. I'll see if I can put it in the, a link in for it in the description. If I can't, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure I can get a link for it. So, yeah. I'll put it down in the description. If there ain't a link, I'm sorry. Yep, this is the one we're looking for. Okay, so let me just change this to M for modded. This is its horsepower right now. This is its power, how much power it has. So, 97 just doesn't seem like enough. So, we might kind of have to change that to... I don't know, 689 sounds good to me. Starting horsepower sounds pretty good. 35 just don't sound fast enough for the maximum speed. I think more like 59 sounds better. There we go. That's a little expensive, 8,500. I think more like $18 sound better. This is its lifetime. That's its brand. We'll... F Oh, it's got its own little category it will make. Okay. Possibility it has its own little category. Alright, so we changed some of the basic stuff about it. Not too much customizations. Um, Six hundred eighty nine. Six hundred eighty nine, and these are customizations. Like, uh, this is its standard, this is a higher uh, engine, this is the even higher engine possibility. Eh, these are all the same. So, this would be it would come up as engine seven seven ten. And then II, this is the 8210, and this is an 8210II. So basically the same, but I don't know about that. Shouldn't we have a little bit of a higher one? So let's go with, oh, how about we go with 999? Um... And we'll go with, okay, we'll make it worth something. We'll make it a dollar. Okay, now what should we go with this? Okay, um, I think we should make this around 2,598 horsepower. That is very unrealistic. And we'll make this one $7 just because it has got a lot of horse right now. And in theory, I've never, want, I've never actually changed with this. But if I was to add a one on that, then it should come up as... The third motor uh, configuration, which means different motor, it should come up with 8210-1-II. So, um, we're going to rename this and see if this is does work. So, 2 for the beginning, 8 for the end, and... Five for the second number in, and then seven. 
So that comes with 2857. So 2 for the beginning of the horsepower, 8 for the ending number of the horsepower, 5 for the second number of the horsepower, and then 7 of the price. All right, so that's what it means. <laughs> and that's just how I'm thinking of it. Okay, so that should be good. Now hit Control S and boom. Okay, so I just want to go in here and take a look around. Okay, so I take it that's going to be the little number you're going to see on the side. Um, so yeah, it might not exactly say what it should, but that's what it's going to come up with when you're changing it in the customizations on FS19. So let me just go to the mod script and make sure that there's nothing I'm going to have to change. So store store yeah should be nothing I have to change because I changed that one thing uh, oh we already looked at that one <laughs> okay so we have officially taken care of this one hope it shows up sometime I don't know why it's been really picky like sometimes it doesn't exactly work okay so you're gonna want to select all these by doing this I believe control a yeah, control A will do the same thing. Right click, go to send to send to compress zipped folder. Okay, so it's putting all those back in there and zipping it. So now what I just want to do is I'm gonna go here and type in FS nineteen underscore underscore update. It. We'll just say updated because I updated it to a lot better uh, version, if you ask me. A lot less realistic, but who wants realistic, right? Actually, you know what? We can just... And we're going to want to get rid of this one. Or we could keep it because actually then we have a realistic one and a non-realistic one. We'll keep it. So it just loaded in. And let's go to the mods and see if it is in there. And here is this one. And if you remember, we put dot m dot. And no pictures loading up. I don't know why. There's a good chance that my mod hub, in game mod hub, is just not going to show up any. Uh, Pictures, I don't know why. Anything I download, the pictures disappear. But it gives you up all this information about, it, and then at the end it says dot m dot. Or, yeah, dot m dot. But if you remember right, we went in the mod descript and we put that in. Okay, so now over here we have this one, and it is the two wheel drive one, and it has the m that we put in there. And after you get done reading all this, it says modded. We put that in there in the mod description. Okay. So let me exit out of here and let me go to a game and we will jump right in. Okay, so we loaded in and let's see if I can find this. Uh, it's probably going to be in medium tractors. Could be why it said tractors M, maybe for medium. There's one, there's two. Okay. So let's take a look at this guy. So it comes custom of, I don't know why it just got dirty all of a sudden. For some weird reason, whenever it's raining on my game, everything in the store is dirty. So it's a 7, 7710. Um, configuration. Oh, you can add a weight on there. Did not know that. Okay. Um, so let's change this to 7710ii. Here is the 7210.
Hmm. All right, let's. There we go. At least this one worked out. Okay, so it's eighteen dollars. Perfect. Oh. Oh, uh, I thinking we may have made two copies. Oh, you know what? If you remember, I put the normal one in, and then I also threw the this one in. So eighteen dollars, and if you see here, six hundred and eighty-six horse. It's pretty. It got some power. All right. So I was like, wait a second, it's not working. It's worked before. So seventy-seven ten. We upgrade to 7710ii. Doesn't change if I did make a change. We upgrade it to the 8210999. Or, yeah. And then we upgrade it to the 2857ii. And it's got 2598 period, period, period. I don't exactly remember what it was all up to. And if you look, the first one's zero, second one's zero. And third one, one dollar, and then the final one, seven dollars. So yeah, I thought we changed the speed on it. Apparently that did not work. Actually, I I probably forgot to change something. But anyways, that's a pretty good deal, twenty-five dollars, <throat> and it's a pretty powerful tractor for a small little guy like this. So I gotta admit, it's pretty good. And you can do everything from add duels on there, right? Yeah, you can add row crop duels. Got to admit, I think I might use this tractor in some, maybe some of my videos or just some of my games. So what was that one? A small tractor, maybe? Nope, large tractor. Okay, I don't know where the editor for tractor went. I have no idea. Okay, so I thought it come with some accessories. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, here it is. So it comes with this front loader. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, it looks fairly nice inside. The other one, I think we change the speed to something stupid. Okay, this seems like a pretty nice tractor. Let's see how it pulls something. So let me buy something. Uh, kind of. Actually, you know what? This is my contractor uh, map, which means I'm going to have something like a plow or a planter. I wonder if this thing could pull it. Drag this thing. Now, with a normal tractor this size, it would just be a pain. It wouldn't even be able to pull it. But as you can see, it's not going very fast, but it can pull it if we were to turn it on. Now how would it be doing? Okay, so we turned it on, which should make it a little bit tougher. A small tractor. If if you could find a tractor that had that kind of horse, like that, in a small little tractor like this, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so let me buy another tractor that is around its size. 
we're just going to go with this. I believe this should be around its size. We'll go with 261 horse. Kind of a common uh, tractor horse I get in the game for medium tractors. So, it's basically a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. This is a 7250 Case International. It's a pro. Let's see how it pulls this planter. Also, it's raining, so if we were dragging that field, it also would kind of make it see which one's better. Well, this one's bigger anyway, so that could be a reason why. Um, for my, uh, let's just forget about that. Um, this one is bigger, and this is also a modded thing, so it, that could have something to do with it. I actually don't know, but, yeah. You gotta remember, this one is smaller, and look at this. Those are, the tires are actually thicker on this thing. That kind of helps you get traction, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to make up all kinds of excuses. But yeah, this thing is a smaller tractor than that. Way smaller. And the horsepower really does work, so. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, if you found this helpful, uh, hopefully you did enjoy. And with this, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like, say you want to modify a uh, harvester. You can make it so it dumps five million liters and so say you have two million liters it's going to dump that like really fast you can make it so it can hold like 50 billion liters of uh, grain a combine and it won't even affect the weight of it you can also I don't know if you could change how much fuel it holds like if you can make it so it never ran out of fuel. Um, you, I believe I have made it so it fills up instantly, which counteracts against uh, s slower fuel ref refilling. But mod, if you have that, so I think it would, but I don't really know. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this. I, I actually kind of enjoyed uh, doing this video. Also, like I said in the first beginning, only 98, or sorry, only 1.5% of the YouTube traffic on my YouTube are subscribed. 98.5% of the traffic on my YouTube channel is non-subscribed. So, please do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like if you found this video helpful or you did enjoy. I hope you did. Have a great day. Respect the monitors. And... Stay safe. Bye, guys.